My name is Stegosaurus. I'm a very funny dinosaur. Upon my back grow bony plates, and on my tail there's more. If I should see an enemy, I will not turn and flee. I'll grab my gun, I'll fuck them up, and then I'll charge a fee. And this concludes another chapter of Tom Mason's Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Perhaps we'll continue that next week. But tonight, we stream. We stream late. But I hope everybody's having a good week so far. And I know, changed the game I was playing to stream a couple times, but I intended to leave work early, but then instead I had left work late and got home late and was tired, so... Tonight will be a short stream. But hey, Sunday was a rather long stream, so I figure it all balances out. Although I know I need to be... I don't know, maybe more consistent. And yeah, some of my streams probably are too short. I mean, if it's short horror Saturday, then at least I have an excuse. But I really do plan to try and start Resident Evil next Wednesday. And... Yeah, that's that's the that's my card plan, which I know will take some setup, but I'll try and do that over the weekend. And yeah, but before we start, I wanted to say thank you very much to everybody who came out to my two hundredth official stream on Sunday, which I didn't know if I'd get a lot of people, and it meant a lot to me that people did, you know, come in and hang out, and. Yeah, I think overall we had a good time. I I really enjoyed Fate My Numbers. I'm glad I finally played it, and hope we get a continuation of that game. I mean, especially if it stars that same attractive actress. Uh, but even if not, a uh, good story. And I, well, um, I also wanted to say that I feel bad about playing the Weathered Underground because it, parts of parts of it were so offensive, which. I didn't realize when I, you know, lined it up and planned to play it, and I kind of, I wish I'd stopped sooner, like, the first one or two offensive things before waiting for it to get really bad, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Well, you know, as I play a lot of random and obscure games, I'm sure some of them will have offensive things, but I should probably figure out a policy of when I'm going to stop, or, you know what I think is okay to continue. I don't know. There's always more things to figure out in life. But, yeah, today um, we're going to be playing, and this is a short stream. I mean, I don't think, I'll, I don't think this will take me more than an hour. It's a run and gun game for the Sega Genesis called Dinosaurs for Hire, which I first played at a friend's house back in the 90s, and then subsequently rented from the local video store at some point, and then eventually got a nice cheap box copy from EB Games or something. But it's, a, it's one you don't hear about very much, but it's pretty decent, even if it does get a little boss-heavy towards the end. I mean, yeah, that, that's not unheard of in Run and Guns. And it was based on a fairly short-lived comic book series, which I didn't know at the time about dinosaurs um, from outer space who crash on Earth and become mercenaries, as one does. I mean, what else are they going to do? Uh, become accountants? That, that takes time and training. I've never seen a dinosaur accountant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I grew up with a Sega Genesis and... Maybe eventually I'll stream every Sega Genesis game that's not, you know, sports or strategy or something like that. Hmm. Um, I think... I don't know, I guess I don't really have any other announcements. Eh? Um, yeah. I wish I could tell you guys more about my life, but frankly, it's boring. And, you know, my job is... Sometimes interesting, and 
It's not too stressful. I probably shouldn't be exhausted as much as I am. But I can't talk, talk about a lot of the details of it, other than to say it's in film and TV production, and it's an office job. And, hmm. Yeah, you can... Remember to follow me on Twitter and MySpace if you're so inclined. I post stream announcements and then subsequent retractions saying that I'll be streaming something a lot simpler and that doesn't take a lot of brain power late at night. Mm. Mm. I'll go ahead and start. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to figure out ways to improve my stream in the future. Make it more more interesting, more interactive, maybe more focused in the types of games I play. I, I don't know. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, I'm playing video games. You know, I didn't know much about the plot of the game. It might be explained in the manual. But basically, these dinosaurs uh, yeah, are mercenaries. but I think I can beat it on normal. I did back in the day. Mm. Archie, as the tough-talking, no-nonsense leader of the dinosaurs for hire, this Tyrannosaurus Rex embodies the very spirit of the group, Seek out trouble and eliminate it. Lorenzo. Lorenzo, a triceratops, is the group snob, a lover of fine food, fine wine, and fine clothing. An endless supply of an endless supply of hand tailored Hawaiian shirts keeps him from having to wear the same one twice. Does anybody know how to get blood stains out of silk? Good question. Reese. Reese, the one-eyed Stegosaurus, is a wild card. Uncontrollable to the point of hysteria, there's no telling what he'll do next. Not one for efficiency, he'll use a cannon to swat a fly. Yeah. Other people, when they hear the name Reese, probably think of that actress Reese Witherspoon. I, however, think of a deranged 500-pound Stegosaurus with a machine gun. Yes, says something about my life, I suppose. Let's go with Archie. He, I believe he can. He's better at jumping. Mm. Bad dinosaur. Good dinosaur. Dead dinosaur. I think this was actually where I first learned about thumbing your nose. And I swear I'd read about it in a Tintin book, too. Whoa, slight problem with your Genesis's last processing unit. Psych! Anyway, the real game starts here. Good luck. You'll need it. Yes, I believe the pterodactyl's name is Cyrano. Yep, checks out. He has a big nose. T 
tenement house. Ah, uh, yes. Dangerous situation. Tenement house overrun by bikers and ninjas. Yeah. I think that you have a melee attack in this game, too. And that you can upgrade your gun incrementally. Also crush enemies. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and suddenly ninjas show up on hang gliders. I swear. I always thought that that power-up was a peace pipe when I was a kid. Pretty sure it's like soup or something. Dinosaurs like soup. See that on the wall? They're cockroaches. What's worse than cockroaches in the subway? Oh. Four foot long cockroaches in the subway. Like six foot long cockroaches. I feel like this is not the first game we've played that involves very large cockroaches. in Texas, and the cockroaches weren't that big, but they were close. <laughs> Dino rules. Sega rules. I mean, where's the lie? Something 
installed in this subway. I think I remember the best strategy is to go along the bottom. Take out as many guns as you can. Of course then, that happens. Can't shoot downwards when you're jumping. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. Oof. strategy. Screw that. <laughs> too far, you automatically die. <laughs> that was not too far. and giant cockroaches are one thing, but with the amount of guns in this subway, it's like, there's some very, like, organized movement here that has been trying to take over the city and the dinosaurs are dealing with. Or, just a lot of random hazards. <laughs> shoot in eight directions. <laughs> Mid-boss. 
Man, you're forgetting you have smart bombs in this game. Actually, that's not very nice. What's the subway mid-miles gonna do about it, though? <laughs> Empire State Building. Hmm. I've never been there. suddenly ninjas show up. Hope you enjoyed that little ride up here. Next time fly, it's faster. Also, the terrible beast, known only as Mega Minotaur, Hoyt, to his pals, has taken control of the cable TV receiver on top of the Empire State Building. Millions of subscribers are really peeved. Try knocking off his hands before you go for the head. Good luck. Mega Minotaur, you say? He's very large. <laughs> hey, I forgot they stopped showing your life bar in the boss levels. For reasons I never could fathom. Over here, here, bull boy. He's like, hey, where'd my hand go? And now the other one. Hmm. Fighting the thing that's trying to destroy cable TV. Are we killing Netflix? And there goes the receiver. We destroyed cable TV. We were Netflix all along. Television is safe. For now. in here. Like, uh, zombie apes and skeleton apes. And the ghostly ape mist occasionally attacks you. And big snakes. And spiders. shoot diagonally, but not straight down. Thank you. 
things make such a strange noise. Nope. It's like, that'll power you've got up to max, but only for a limited time, and when it wears off, your gun resets the lowest level, so... One to avoid. were as random as this game is. a secret here somewhere. Yeah. Hey, Retro Interocitor. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Oops. You guys should check out Retro Interocitor. He's a fellow retro streamer and a great guy. I always enjoy hanging out in his, his streams. He was playing Marathon earlier, which is an amazing game. I've played it, played it a, twice, I think. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. I do a lot of days when I'm going to work and I make lunch before leaving. I bring lunch with me. <laughs> but other times, I mean, other times are kind of to buy us lunch at work. <laughs> Good to always have backup. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do you think you're gonna play through the entire Marathon Trilogy in Rossiter? Hammock and Bearded Bogle have been... I think they're going to work out fine through the trilogy. a little time. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I guess they use Hoover Dam for hydroelectric power. And here's some of said power. It's been a couple of years. Maybe more. I played dinosaurs for hire, I mean. <laughs> city again. Hello, Cyrano. Great going so far. I didn't think you'd get past that nasty Tesla machine. But you're not out of the water yet. The evil mega monster is trying to destroy Hoover Dam. You need to stop him at all costs. The tourists are depending on you. To, you know, not depending on us, to let them not be killed in a deluge of water. I suggest that you shoot off both his hands before going for the head. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Smart bombs won't, won't help you against this malignant beast. When I was a kid, I didn't know what a Tesla machine was, and I thought he was talking about the... Is, uh, spinning things that will grind you up in the past levels. Re didn't realize it was the electrical machine. Yeah. All the main bosses are the mega something in this game. <laughs> this looks familiar. Floating concrete. Yeah, it's a little bit graphic. He's left to where we shot off his arm. Aren't 
gun goes back to normal. for a limited time. He's technically not a dinosaur, he's a monster. Despite outward appearances. There's some superficial similarities between monsters and dinosaurs. Position on the very edge. You think the fire won't spread enough to hit me? Dinosaurs can't swim. At least T Rexes. But I'm not a paleontologist.
these attacks. What a nice the night I finally figure it out. second hand is gone. I feel like the water is going to be too high and I'll get washed away. glowing like that, just faintly on top.
he's gotta be home. Yes. Finally. <laughs> jet ski adventure. Because we've all wanted to play a dinosaur on a jet ski. Really low or something else? <sighs> I honestly don't know how I died that first time. Okay, it's just the forward momentum that launches you got it. I don't know what this thing is. It's one of the things I like, especially in run and gun games. Sometimes you run into a box and you're like, Excuse me, what exactly is this? Because I don't know. Hollywood. Hey, I've been there. I could take a bus there tomorrow. So that's how they make movies, with miniatures. Real dinosaurs, though. A lot of times that's how I play run and gun games, is not, you know, don't advance too fast and take care of the enemies as you go. Remember when I said real dinosaurs? Hollywood is not above using fake dinosaurs. A device repairs its legs. It's a Triceratops, just like our buddy Lorenzo. Archie, don't lick the large, broken, model Triceratops. That's not sanitary. Blue Line Train. Okay, we'll put large iguanas on the train. Yeah, we have smart bombs, don't we? I should use one eventually. Rings of Doom.
suppose those big lizards on the train don't really look like iguanas, but we had a class iguana around the time I played this game, so it was like, hey, large lizards, iguanas. Don't think I discovered monitors yet. Really must get a monitor one of these days. Even if my laptop does have one. Ninjas. One of the few constants in life, or at least in this game. Who got an extra life? nefarious robot that has been hatching the giant iguanas. Hmm. Yeah. Not giant exactly, but iguanas of significant size, let's say. There's a lot of assembly lines and a lot of molten liquid. Those little things that come out of the box are. 
always kind of thought they were like molten frogs. But I remember a friend of mine saying they looked like mice. once he fell down that tube is left up to the player's imagination. Which, considering that I'm the player, is something suitably ghastly. <laughs> Dinosaur loaf. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's... Mm. I wonder what dinosaur loaf tastes like. It's like lunch loaf made with dinosaurs. The toy factory was just a front for nefarious meat products. I mean, still, not exactly surprising. You hear kids going on about dinosaur nuggets. Dinosaur sliders. I mean, they already have turtle sliders. Hell, I, I see them sliding right off a log. <laughs> I swear for you here. I guess even now, when people talk about sliders, half the time I'll be like, of the red eared variety. And everyone will be like, no, of the burger variety. remember the crawl game in the arcades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, I also feel like sliders weren't as much of a thing when I was growing up. And it was only like, uh, I don't know, in the last 15 years they became a thing. Ooh, extra life. Toy Factory Midballs. Are you ready to clown around? <laughs> I remember one time. That's when I first like bought this after. Yeah, you know, I rented it growing up. Molten frogs. But I got to this level, and my sister was quite young. Maybe I got it from the Funko Land. And I said to her, hey, look at this level. You, Mom was saying you need to pick up your toys. Well, here's a nice toy. And my mother's like, don't show her that game. You'll give her nightmares. I'm like, what? It's a clown. Everybody loves clowns. Look at those little things. I'm telling you, look at the way they crouch. Those are molten frogs. Oh, <laughs> you said you have a sibling like me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it, I honestly didn't think it would really scare her. It would just be one of the more, like, you know, funny kind of creepy. chest. Well, I think the toy is officially broken beyond repair. 
The only thing to do is go to Japan. Maybe the toy factory was in Japan. Psych. Loan. Yeah, the irony. We were fighting ninjas all game, and now that we actually get to Japan, not a ninja to be seen. Hmm. Armored samurai who shoot fireballs from their glowing eyes, on the other hand. Ooh, speaking of turtles. Yeah, we got on what we got on the way with well the turtles. Dinosaurs, turtles, practically a family. My gun just float. First concrete, now machine guns. swims away. Hmm. Traitor. a very large boar. Well, that's one way to greet your visitors. Japan is a dangerous place. It's got manure half tornado. Anyway, this is fire guy. the bullets bounce off of him. Wait, is this Superman? Oh yeah, that's where to go. seem to pause. There's Mr. Tornado. Not to be confused with Mr. Fornado. Different person entirely. Whirlwind's attack was just a setup. Other towns are being invaded. Hurry, Avengers!
Did I mention there are no checkpoints in Japan? Okay. This is probably my least favorite favorite level in the game, because you know. It's fairly long, no checkpoints. A number of bosses, and then the last boss in the level can insta-kill you. Yes, that's always fun. saving because I think I need to, but I, I'm always worried with this emulator I might accidentally reset it. Kind of like you did when you were playing Quirkshot. Oh shut up airplane line. Must we bring that up? Mostly like because the keys I use to zoom in and out with zoom text are right next to the key that instantly resets it and you can't remap it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my, uh, less proud moments on Twitch. Immortalized in a clip, naturally. Certain feline individuals around this house don't let me live it down. inspired by Captain America and the Avengers when they made this boss. It's conceivable. This specifically, he turns into a tornado and bounces diagonally around the screen for a while and you can't hurt him.
I'm good. Yes, Fireman, Tornado Man, and now Lightning Man. I kind of think there's a one-hop before the last boss in the level. off him once. Hmm. That's the thing with the bosses in this level, they just kind of slow down the pacing a bit. Since they each have, you know, extended attack sequences where you can't hurt them. in a level, I just play Alien Soldier. I'm gonna be Gunstar Heroes. I like Gunstar Heroes. Smart bomb this guy. Okay. That's good. The first one you crouch in the far corner. Second one's the center. Gold. If one of those balls, bigger like orbs, hits you, it turns you to stone, and then the next attack kills you. I think there are only three. Irrelevant. Freaking gargoyle statues. Sega Genesis game based on gargoyles, now that I think about it. I probably should. Good TV show. Good job! It looks like you made it down here in one piece. The hideous Mega Lizard is frozen down here. You need to freeze up this Jurassic Nightmare once again. <laughs> Thank you, Interocitor. Only a true dino sharpshooter can hit the refreeze button on the cryogenic regulator. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Smart bombs won't help you against this malignant beast. Didn't they call the other one a malignant beast? Come on, here. Hey, riders, quit slacking off. Give, give Seer Nose a better dialogue. In one piece, because if the thing turned you to stone and then hit you again, it would shatter you. <laughs> hmm. Hello, Mega Lizard. If you can't take a dirt nap, at least take an ice nap. his head. Oh, it's blinking. 
here. He kind of looks like a stegosaurus, doesn't he? Look at those plates on his back. Are they smaller than what Stegosaurus had? so much. Does that imply that there's a leak or something dripping water down there? Oops. Don't lick the frozen mega lizard, your tongue will get stuck to it. Just don't lick anything in this game. The base. Mm -hmm. Are we sure we're not in a Contra game? some more instructions, old buddy? Okay, that's on Sierra now. Long lost evil cousin. Yeah. 
I know it's soup, but I can't help thinking about it as a peace pipe. Seven-year-old me had some strange ideas. Mm, it pauses several times like that. Hmm. Things look like claws. In fact, they are claws. I swear those things on the side of it look like eyeballs, vaguely. Doesn't this kind of remind you guys of a boss from Contra Hardcore? supposed to go to uh... We went down at our own speed. It was not the speed the game approved of.
Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> You're tempted to get on that platform going down, but we know better. It makes sense we have to go up this high again. <laughs> supposed to get off the other side of the elevator. so quickly, that's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Swan-necked dinos. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> I think one of the bullets must have hit my head and that knocked me off the platform. Must be quite a sight. A pterodactyl silhouetted against the moon. Hey Rob, welcome in. How are you doing this evening? You guys should check out Techie Rob, who also is a retro streamer with an awesome stream, who also does a lot of Genesis games. Yeah, so you're familiar with this one. I know it's not one of the better known Genesis games. Yeah, I hope you're having a good evening. <laughs> yeah, so working on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> That's a fun one. A lot harder than the first one, though. Oh, my pleasure. killed him. <laughs> oh, did you play uh, play this one when the Genesis was current, Techie Rob? Well, that's it. I should probably go to bed. But I shan't. Slightly whenever you land. Hmm. Such a strange clicking noise.
Should have just sat on the one I was on. <clears throat> I was like, oh yeah, it's late, I'm tired. I should stream something, you know, easier and simpler today. Like an arcade game that requires reflexes. Yes, this makes sense. He's throwing that stuff at us with his... Is that his tail? No. Or a hand? <laughs> because this guy's last form is a little on the tough side. Alright, I have a smart bomb. Yeah, I should save this for whatever comes at the end of the low. super memorable. to spend all that time killing him. Wouldn't I still have gotten paid if I had left him and thwarted the evil boss? <laughs> Okay. 
standard sort of crabby pincher boss. <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. I was pretending to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <clears throat> well done. Game's over. Thanks for playing. Not. That's how you know this was a 90s game. This final boss is a mystery. No one has ever made it this far before. What, are you trying to get me to put a quarter into a Strider arcade machine? Rumor has it that you need to shoot the clone creators on the Vat Rim. Then things will really start to spin. What happens next is anybody's guess. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Using smart bombs on this level would be bad. So don't use them. <laughs> Thanks, Interoster. Hmm. Actually, I have an idea, and hear me out. We should use smart palms on this level. Hmm. I remember the manual described this level as ghastling ghostosaurs coming up from the... Whatever that stuff is. Brew. Ghastling ghostosaurs. Yeah. At least not on this level. Oh, it won't even let us. Oh, maybe because I already used it. Yeah. The ghastling ghost sore clones of Archie, Reese, Lorenzo, and Cyrano. Yeah. I swear the collision detection is off on those things. Freaking giant hitbox. Yeah, I remember him. But seriously, look at the hurt boxes or hit boxes on those damn things. Mm, columns of ghostlitude. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, that's good. Give give the critters some breakfast. Is that all of them? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> things are really starting to spin. Oh hey. Anyone ever tell you you're vaguely reminiscent of a boss from Rocket Knight Adventures? Oh shoot, I hope we can kill him this time when we still have the enhanced bullets. It ain't looking good. I can't remember what happened once you shot out both eyes. Oh right, the top. Column of fire. All that... or... laser, all that good stuff. <laughs> Ken has more powerful gun again? No, I know Ken has. Right. The new part of the trick is this is just don't fight the ghastling ghost scores. Like once they're off screen, it won't register that they exist, so. And they take so long to form. as simple as as soon as they're off screen, it doesn't register that they're there. Okay. I don't know, I mean, I remember this boss as being less frustrating than the Mega Minotaur, because you can dodge his attacks. I mean, not Mega Minotaur, the Mega Monster. Like a Mega Minotaur was a breezy, breezy even when I was seven.
It does look pretty cool. I'll give him that. some like aura like, coming off them that I'm hitting that is too faint for me to see or something. It's not terrible. No, you, you're terrible. Mm -hmm. Can't get away from that easy. 
easily. All the times, but... I wish this game had more plot, to be honest. But there are so many different kind of levels, it would be cool if there was more of a plot. And specifically, I wish there was more of an ending sequence. Even if it was just, you know, text. Just, after all that, something. No, just us wailing on ninjas. Why were there ninjas? Dinosaurs for hire, which I, I still enjoy. I, I like the premise. It's dinosaurs with guns, and I mean that pretty much explains it. And I thought the last cup, I think the last couple levels kind of go on too long, even independent of being tough. It's just like some parts of them feel like they're trying to stretch out the game. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's a classic, but it's one I enjoy, one worth remembering. I wonder if that'll ever get re-released on Steam. And if we'll ever get more Dinosaurs for Hire comics. Hmm. Hell, yeah, I'll probably wrap up for the night. I do have work again tomorrow, and I am tired. Um, before we raid, I'll give you guys an idea of what's coming up. The plan is... On Saturday, we'll do Short Horror Saturday as usual, and... I don't know, I might do this FPS that a friend recommended called Shrine. Or I might do this new um slash slasher movie kind of PS2 style advent uh horror adventure. A uh, survival horror game that I found. And on Sunday we'll continue Tokyo Dark, which is a very good adventure game slash visual novel. And yeah, it's got such a great plot and great characters. And then next Wednesday, the plan is to actually start Resident Evil, 
which will be the first time I've played a Resident Evil game. And I'm really leaning towards playing the GameCube version, although some people say I should play the PS1 Director's Cut, which I have right over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fun stuff coming up in the future. Hopefully. Resident, Resident Evil must be fun. It's a classic. Um, let's go ahead and find somebody to raid. I assume that people I was planning to raid are offline. should raid my friend Redbeard the Pink, who was aff- affiliated not that long ago, and uh, I knew I knew him from back home. Uh, he mostly plays Minecraft, but so it'd be nice to go and say hi to him, since he almost never streams late at night. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out and spending your Wednesday late night stream, late night with me. Whether you're chatting or lurking, I appreciate you being here and watching me play through unusual and often forgotten games, and sometimes mainstream titles, which Dinosaurs for Hire was not. Um, you can follow me on Twitch if you want to see when I'm live, and on Twitter and MySpace for stream announcements and polls and apologies when I play offensive games on stream and uh, other random things. And you can find my VODs um, past streams on YouTube. Well, 200 of them. Almost. Um, Yeah. Hopefully um, I'll see you guys here again on the weekend for a longer stream and, and hopefully next week I will get home from work more timely and start sooner and Resident Evil. So, hope you all have a good night. Say hi to Redbeard and don't swat flies with a cannon. Don't be like Reese, guys. He's a Stegosaurus.